Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Studio Sunday. Uh, Robin is out of the studio today, so I'm flying solo. Crash and burn. <laughs> so instead of having a Q&A and stuff like that, I thought I would just get straight to the drawing. And since it's first thing in the morning, I'm drawing warm-up sketches because in the morning, I'm still caffeinated and this is a straight line. <laughs> So it's good to, you know, like you have to get your hand loose. If I dove straight in and tried to draw something important on the new issue, uh, it would not be a pretty sight. I'd end up having to come back and redraw it. So one of the things that helps to do that is the problem is if you draw a lot, it's the muscle right in here. Um, you get cramping in here, the tendonitis stuff, and then this muscle right here because you're doing all this. Um, so that's what adds up over time, and you end up really needing to do warm-up sketches to get your hand loose. Um, see, there's somebody that's really strong. So, this is how you end up seeing all those doodles from people like Kenneth Rackerfort. Uh, you can follow him as Mitographia um, on his social media, and he has the, the coolest warm-up sketches and he does, usually does them in a tiny little book, you know, like this or smaller. Um, but he's just so imaginative. And one of the things Kenneth likes to do is draw monsters. Kenneth and Kim, um, how do you say it? Kim Jong-gi, the uh, artist from Korea, I think. I hope I got that right. Um, anyway, let your imagination run wild and just draw whatever you want. You know, um, I still have a part of me that's 17 years old and, uh, because I started drawing with a passion right in high school, uh, junior high and high school. So I have so many fond art memories and a lot of my DNA comes from uh, drawing during classes or drawing at home when I was supposed to be doing homework. So I still have that, that feeling of, don't forget the other side of the, there's another cheek over there, right? Um, I still have that feeling that, um, you know, like I'm drawing in school and drawing for fun. So every time I wanna think about drawing for fun, I remember just like doodling during class and the teacher's talking. I gotta tell you, probably what I also drew in class was a lot of this. The cute girl sitting in front of me. And then the nerdy teacher talking at the chalkboard. Nerdy teacher talks real loud. And dramatic. Thank you, teacher. Um, yeah, so that's why I got B's and C's and D's and E's and F's and G's and H's.
Do any of you uh, cook out on the grill? What is your favorite thing to cook out on the grill? Um, hamburgers? Salmon on a plank? You ever done that? Works out really well. You, you wet down that plank, this little, um, I don't know what it's made of. You can buy it at the grocery store. Lay your salmon on it. Lay that plank on there, and it cooks the salmon perfectly. Burns the plank up. You, put, you throw the plank away, and the salmon is cooked perfect. There, just in case you didn't know. That's how we burn fish in America. <laughs> See that? That's this. Top part's good? Okay, because the top part's just fingers. The bottom part is this. <laughs> That's why you, people are always saying, do your circles fast. There's a good one. There's a good one. Can I go the other way? No. <laughs> My hand didn't memorize it that way. Okay. That's my homework. D minus. <laughs> clouds. Um, I saw these beautiful clouds yesterday. And the reason why they were so beautiful is the tops had these well-formed tops, and then there was a, a streak in front of them, like this. So that cloud was like, that cloud was fading. And then there was a, another cloud that streaked in front of it like that. And that foreground cloud was kind of dark. And then this guy was kind of rim lit. And it was actually more of a sunset that was happening so if you had pictured if we were out in the desert or something, it would have been like this. And I really oversold the bottom of it. The bottom really just kind of faded. So it goes from uh, sunset sky fading into cloud. Right here is all that beautiful blending from like a blue to a, 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 a light. And then there was a pink, uh, sort of a pink something going in there between the blue and the pink, and then the rim light was yellow. It was like that. And boy, I remembered that. I, I, I couldn't take a picture of it, it was too far away, but I burned it into my memory. So things like that I try to remember. Um, good luck trying to draw that in ink in a black and white comic. That's what I'll be trying to do at some point in the issue too, I'm sure. Okay, one more page of doodling. I've already wasted eight minutes of your time. You know me. Um, I always, those eyes, if I don't get those eyes first, I don't finish. I don't finish the drawing. The eyes have to be right for me. This looks like I could be drawing that alien, but I could save it at any moment just by putting the hair there. neck is too short. Better. Now it looks like a, a commander on Babylon 5. All you need is a turtleneck and some spiffy logo over here. Do you ever find yourself, if you don't make a center line, do you ever find yourself like, 
a lot of the bodies over here, and then you shortchange this side of the body, <laughs> like that. Um, that's what that center line is for, to really help you keep remembering um, equal. Symmetry, and uh, don't let one side get the better of the other. I guess I'm designing a costume, a new character now, for our uh, Space Explorers show. And this commander is going to need... Okay, now I have to think about anatomy. Um, where are my important key points? There's one, there's a key point right there. I balance off there. Um, the underarms are right here. That's important. Clavicle right there, there, there. The um, crease on the waist right there. And then the belly button right below that. And then um, the distance to the crotch about like that. So, think of all this as uh, a square or round place. And let's get into a fighting pose. Challenge, brave, fight, stand your ground. Kneecaps right in there. Okay, here's the key. Uh, hip thing came out here, hip bone comes in here like that, and that's why um, muscle, uh, connective stuff, kneecap stuff, and then there's a small bone and then the big bone. I told you this before, but the reason I know the small bone's on the outside, because I got hit by a car when I was eight, and it bent in the small bone and use the small bone to crack the big bone. And the small den bone didn't break. Isn't that weird? So this was flexible in the car wreck, and then that one cracked. Um, didn't really hurt. <laughs> I didn't feel a thing, because trauma. Okay, can you do it again on the other side? Small bow of a bone out there, the support bone right there. Muscle, muscle. Uh, the ankles go up, like this ankle is lower than the inside ankle, inside ankle, outside ankle. And then th that's the, the swing pinion for the foot, like that. Do you ever wish I would just be quiet and just draw and not do anatomy lessons? I could do that. Okay. Um, the wrist is at the crotch. Wrist is at the crotch. So no short arms for Commander. Um, hmm, we need a name. Ava, Commander Ava, from the planet Ava in the Ava system. And we can't get there, but they can get here. And what is Ava holding? Oh dear, Ava's holding a stretch, of, um, a length of your intestine. <laughs> uh, uh, how did this happen? Do you have any recall of how that happened? <laughs> Back of the spaceship. Control C. Control panel is one knob right there with a little guidance on it. That's her chair. That's the guest chair. And here is the window of the spaceship. Yeah. 
and here's somebody's planet. That's the planet Ava. And she's saying, welcome aboard. And we cut to the first commercial. There. Okay, I think I'm warmed up and I can start drawing some uh, Parker girls. So I don't know what you did to make uh, Commander Ava mad, but you need to apologize <laughs> real fast. And then maybe she'll put that back for you. <laughs> All right, guys, draw for fun. Draw for fun. Just as if you were a teenager and discovered you could draw and you just went crazy with it. Uh, draw what makes you happy, okay? Because um, there's a lot of stuff in the world that's uh, not designed to make you happy. So if you can draw or you just want to draw, man, there's, there's a little bit of happy source for you. Enjoy it. All right, talk to you next week. Bye.